this is a walkthrough video of one of West Wickham driving test routes. Um, the video is of me driving it, just explaining a couple of things that I'm doing, what I'm looking for, um, basically what you should be doing and looking for as well. I'm going to follow the sat nav on this route. Um, the sat nav's all ready to go, so I'm just going to start the engine, put the car into gear, start looking around. Little signal. It'll do a final check over my right shoulder. Always make sure you get your final check in. And at the end of the road, we'll be turning left. Turn left. This first junction, if you are practicing here, is a little bit hard. You've got a bunch of cars on the right-hand side of you here. You need to make sure that you're looking down the pavement because if you go too far, you'll be blinded by the parked cars on the corner. So, out on the first junction, cut the signs on the left that says the road bends round to the left and bends round to the right. The fact that there's a couple of signs there means it could be quite a severe bend. So, just trying to stay near to the kerb but also within the white lines on the right. Another sign here says the road bends to the left and it also says at the top on that triangle 11% and it's pointing downwards, so 11% drop. Which means the car's gonna run away from you a little bit here. So I'm at 24 mile an hour at the moment. I've got my foot very lightly on the brake. Again, just trying to check my position to make sure I stay within these lines. Don't wanna straddle. Just approaching the bottom. After 300 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Okay, the examiner might ask you to pull up on the left here, just after the yellow line. So just check your centre mirror, left mirror, left signal. Just move over, just get past the driveway and just pull over on the left here. And then they might say, Thank you very much, drive on. So again, check all around, signal, final check over the right shoulder, moving off. And we're going to deal with the roundabout. The roundabout, we're going left first exit. Centre check, left check, left signal. The Go sign left there. on the roundabout and take the first exit. Sign there says 50 yards. There's a set of traffic lights to do with a crossing. Quick look to the right. That bus that was coming around on the video was doing a right turn from my left. As it came around the corner, it gave me the opportunity to get out on the roundabout. Okay, the lights are flashing. Checking my left, centre and right mirror as I move off in traffic. See the bus up ahead. I see a lot of people at the bus stop. That There's a lot of people there. So I'm going to try and plan to get round the bus. Check my centre and my right. Just moving out to the right. I'm not going to indicate. You can see all the other cars have already moved over to try and help us get through. Centre and left check. And again, I'm trying to find the middle of my lane at the moment. I always want to try and be in the middle can already see on the sat nav that I'll be doing a right turn at the next roundabout. It's really important on this bit here to listen to what the sat nav says. So there's a couple of routes in West Wickham that comes down this way um, and they have different instructions for this next roundabout. Hopefully we won't be too long in this traffic. Okay, starting to move up. So left check, centre check, right check. Just checking every single time. I'm looking in the left mirror for any cyclist. Looking in the centre mirror to see what's going on behind. Looking in the right to see. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Then take the second right. Yeah, I was looking in the right mirror to see potentially anybody overtaking. Now, if you hear the instruction, turn right, third exit, and then take the second right. So it's quite important that you understand these instructions on the couple of routes that come round this way. If that's the one you hear, then you've got to make sure you're in the correct lane when you exit. I'm trying to keep a nice distance between me and the vehicle in front. Making sure when I stop that I can see the tyres of the vehicle in front all the way to the floor. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, and then take the second right. Trying to see their tyres all the way to the floor and a little bit, just a little bit of the road. So I'm in position for the right turn. Looking for that blocker. 
vehicle approaching on my right is going left anyway so pretty good to go so taking me time 14 miles an hour here one junction two junctions center left mirror check left signal now because the sat nav saying turn right in the second street staying in this lane center check after 100 right yards check. turn right then take the third right Okay, right signal just about now as I pass the first jump. Turn right, right, then take the third right. Okay, you can see that it's pretty clear to cross over. So we're turning right and taking the third right. Now, it's a bit confusing here because the sat nav recognises that entrance to Wix's on this road as one of the junctions. This one here, Church Drive, is the second one already. The sat nav's telling me in 310 yards, 31 cars time, that I'll be turning right. So just following the blue After line. After 200 yards, turn right, then at the end of the road, turn right. Checking my centre left and moving over for the bus. I've got a bit of a meeting situation coming up here, so just slowing down a little bit. Checking my centre on my right. Turn right, then at the end of the road, turn right. Okay, this is the right turn that we'll be doing. So slowing down now, I'm at 10, 9, 8 miles an hour because I feel that it's a, a small street. Don't want to be going too fast into the street. We're turning right at the end of this one. Centre check and right check again. Turn right. Right signal on. Slowing down for the junction. Okay now, observations at this junction are quite poor. Park cars all around the junction, around the mouth of the junction. So just leaning forward in the chair, creeping out a little bit. Looks pretty safe now. Can see both sides clearly. And then I might get asked to pull up on the left just before the next vehicle set the check and left check and they might say something like try to stop when you're about one car away so just trying to aim for that and don't worry about the driveway so just about there and then they might say to you thanks very much drive on again center check all the way around to the right check sorry left shoulder check i meant signal on final check over the right shoulder and then moving off At the end of the road, turn right, then at the end of the road, turn left. Check my centre and my left, just in case I had to move over for the vehicle coming towards me. Now, on the actual test, they often turn you left at the end of this road, and there's a little car park just at the end. I won't go up there at the moment. Turn right, then at the end of the road, turn left. Because there are some tests out on the road at the moment. But there's a junction to our left, we go up to the car park, and then as you come out, You'll be coming down past where I'm coming out of now. And then following the rest of this route. They take you to the car park and it could be a forward bay park or a reverse bay park. Turn left, then take the second left. Okay, so turning left at the end, following this curve in the road. So I'm trying to make sure I don't finish too straight. Struggling to see to the right a little bit, so creeping forward, leaning forward as well in the chair. It's pretty safe now. I'm going to go left at the end. I'm just going to hold back a little bit, not to turn the left, entrance. then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Okay, so we're, we're turning left and then we're going to cross the roundabout. Second exit to my right is nice and clear, so I'm straight out on the junction. So going ahead at the roundabout, second exit, <coughs> using the left hand lane, just make sure whatever you do, do After not... After 100 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. And I repeat, do not Cross the straddle. roundabout and take the second exit. If you straddle a roundabout, you are going to be in trouble. Centre check, left check, left signal. straight into the middle of the lane. I cancelled my signal as well because there's a slight curve to this road it might take a little bit of time to actually come off. I'm trying to maintain my 30 miles per hour. Just aware of that cyclist. I've got enough room because they've got their cycle lane but just check my left mirror as I pass them just to make sure that they are okay. That nav's got a picture of a roundabout. This is three quarters of a mile, and it's pointing to the slight left, not an immediate left. 
on a clock face it will be around about between the sort of 10 and 11 mark it is not pointing straight on and it means you must indicate on approach but you just need to make sure that there isn't another left before your actual left just slowing down a little bit here this person's pulled across the junction trying to keep the actual left part of my junction clear so that I don't block it for anybody else and then just moving up once they've got out of the way okay got a little bit of traffic ahead of us here You know where you are you're just going past the actual test center sometimes you can come up here and just sort of sail past all of this but other times it's a little bit heavy like it is this morning look if you want to just fast forward on the video for a little bit until we go into the high street bit trying to maintain a nice gap between me and the vehicle in front I know on the video it might look slightly bigger gap but in my view here you can see the tires of the vehicle all the way to the floor and a tiny tiny piece of the road just behind the wheels that way I've got a nice sort of gap nice and safe it's not too big definitely not too small you can see the lorry up ahead it's just bunching up so I'd imagine all the other cars in front are going to bunch up so again, I'm checking my left, checking my centre, checking my right. Just going to creep forward just to keep up with the traffic in front. I'm not going to go too far forward because again, I'm trying to maintain that gap. Literally every single time I move, I'm going to check all of those mirrors. go left center right check it's got a little junction on the left just here so again I'm not going to block the junction in case somebody wants to turn into or out of I've got a slightly bigger gap between me and the vehicles in front now now I reckon if I bunched up I'd still keep the junction clear but it's the vehicles behind me that probably won't worry about the junction so again I'm just trying to maintain a nice gap between me and the vehicle in front now. Wait for the traffic to move again. Here we go, see the traffic in front moving. Cent left check, centre check, right check. Just bunching up again. Very busy this morning. Okay, here we go. Left, centre, right. See the vehicle on our left trying to come out the car park. Hopefully on the next next time that the lights change, hopefully we'll get through. Left check, centre right. Okay, left, 
centre, right check. And considering the junction on my left here for the car park, don't want to get to the point that I've blocked it. I feel that that's a good enough gap, so I'll creep forward. I'm trying to maintain that gap. You can see now that the road's sort of splitting into two. This is happening on your test, it ain't too bad for you because you're not really being tested on too much at the moment other than just moving along in traffic. Examiners might try and break the ice with a couple of questions. Generally they ask things like, what would you normally be doing at this time of day if you wasn't on a test? And then there'll be a couple of follow-up questions, just, you know, whatever you answer. Just about your job, your school or college or whatever it is you're doing. And then that's pretty much it. They'll just leave you alone to get on with your driving. Still stuck at these lights. Very, very long time this morning. Very long time. Still see the green light. Go left check, centre check, right check. It's not going to block the next junction because I can actually see that that's an entrance to the back of the shops. I don't want to stop anybody from going in it. on the next set of lights we can get through push up a little bit now a couple of vehicles on my right they've just blocked the junction anyway so even if somebody came now unfortunately they wouldn't be able to turn into or out of the junction because of the cars to the right of me Okay, left check, centre check, right check. Hopefully we're going to get through this time. And at the end of this road I'm looking for any signs of speed changes. And as I go across the road I'm looking for any signs of speed change. I.e. the red circles. There's one on the left, there's one on the right. And as the vehicle in front passes in a second you'll see a great big painted one on the floor. 20 miles an hour. Checking the centre mirror because of the traffic lights and that car. A little bit cheeky that car there. See somebody at the crossing on the right. He's already pressed it so it might change. Just slowing down a little bit. Another car pulling out in front of me there. Just slowing down. I'm at about 15 mile an hour at the moment. Maintaining the centre line of the road. Nobody at the next crossing. Good to carry on. Still maintaining that 20 mile an hour. After 400 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, then turn left. Okay, another set of traffic lights approaching. Centre check. Scanning the road, it is a crossing. Nobody at the crossing. You can see the yellow box on the right has not been pressed. So with regards to the roundabout, look at the sign on the left if you can see it. It's pointing at the between the sort of 10 and 11 cross the roundabout place. and take the first exit so then turn left I'm going to check my centre and left mirror I'm going to indicate on the brooch looking to the right nothing there I'm going to maintain that left signal as I exit check the left mirror as well and then cancel the signal quickly because I don't want the car in that junction that's just come out to think that I'm indicating to go into that junction maintaining the 20 mile an hour After 200 yards, turn left. 200 yards, about 20 cars. Centre check, I can see the traffic lights here. I can see some people stood there. It is a crossing. Centre check, slowing down. And as soon as I've stopped, I'm applying the parking brake for safety. Keep my foot on the foot brake as well, because that prevents this car 
from restarting environmentally no emissions whilst I'm sitting here waiting centre left and right moving up to the junction now as the lights have changed centre check left check left signal okay a lot of signs here turn left suggests that the speed changes to 30 on the road that I turn into in a second look at the two circles back to 20 miles an hour again okay so possible meeting situations now centre check and right check just moving out to the right Okay, we've got vehicle coming towards me, so I'm just slowing down. Centre left check, going to move into the gap. There's two or three cars coming here. I'm just going to let them come through. And the van, I can already see the van's already moved out to the middle of the road, so I'm just going to let them come through as well. I'm going to check my centre and my right. I'm moving out to the right. Check my centre and my left. Moving back to the left. And trying to find the centre of the road. Warning triangle on the left tells me that the road bends to the left. Trying to maintain that 20, trying to maintain that middle of the road as well. See a bus stop, so I'd imagine a bus will be coming the other way as well at some point. A van parked on the right. Anyone coming towards me is going to try and go around the vehicle, so I may need to move to the left of my lane very quickly to help them. next instruction I can already see it in 450 yards I'll be doing a right turn at a roundabout okay, trying to maintain that good speed 19 miles an hour at the moment nice and good not too fast definitely not too slow okay, another obstacle two parked cars on our side of the road center check right check just looking out to the right of me in front no cars coming center check and left check back to the left of our lane not indicating to go around any of those because after only... 100 yards go right on the roundabout and take the third exit yeah I wasn't indicating center check right check right signal to go around the parked cars because there go was no right on the roundabout and take the third exit there wasn't two lanes basically if there was two lanes going in the same direction then I'd need to indicate one junction two junctions center check and left check left signal coming off again straight away I can see a 20 circle on the right hand side of the road so just maintaining that 20 both got bumps anyway yeah if there was two lanes going in the same direction I'd indicate to change from the left to the right as there's only one I'm not going to indicate to go around stationary objects like this vehicle in front center check and right check just moving out to the right Centre left check, coming back on the bend. I don't want to be on the other side as I go through the bend. It's a little bit lazy driving. Yeah, just trying to maintain a good speed over the bumps. As I get to the bump, just off the accelerator. I'm not braking. Car just naturally slows a little bit. Back on the accelerator, in between a little bit, just to build up the speed again. Off the accelerator now. After 100 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Okay, so. The sat nav says cross the roundabout second exit. If you look here, there are no signs for roundabout. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. It's just a one-way system. Just watch that curb on the left. Okay, there's nothing on our right now, so we're just pushing on. Where they're going is the first, so I'll just follow round to the right. I'm not indicating for this bit. I will indicate to leave. Centre check and left check. Left signal. And examiner might ask you to pull up on the left in a safe convenient place so parking opposite this car on the right would not be good center check left check left signal just pulling in just by this piece of grass just here nice long high curb that'd be a pretty good position examiner then says thanks very much drive on when it's safe center check and right check lady moving on the right of me okay looks pretty good so off we go, final check over the shoulder, moving out. There's a school on the right, so depending on the time of day that your test is, it might be very busy. Just holding back a little bit here, letting the vehicle in front come through because I can see that it's just too narrow for the two of us. Centre check and right check, moving out. Got another car coming towards me. Can already see that they haven't got very 
many places to in which to go to get out of our way so just moving over a little bit make life easy center check and right check back out center check and left check and we sat now next say after 200 yards go left on the roundabout and take the first exit I'm just going to say the sat, sat nav next is turn left first exit but it beat me to it we're 100 yards 10 cars away center check left go check. left on the roundabout and take the first exit slowing down to between 10 and 2 miles an hour just to see if I can find a gap there's a car on my right but the vehicle that just came through there was indicating right from my left so that was enough to cover that junction so I was able to go looked at this road still 20 miles an hour now this is a very very long road make sure you maintain that 20 miles an hour you may find that we get overtaken on this road because it's very very long the examiner will be watching what you're doing in terms of your speed sat nav showing that in three quarters of a mile there's a checkered flag which just means that that's the end of the independent part of our test and they'll just give us some directions from there i.e. telling us to turn left telling us to turn right or anything like that really 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 long road I can already see a queue of cars building up behind me not much I can do about it the speed limit is the speed limit a few cars coming towards us quick look in the mirrors just to check that I'm in a good position that I'm not too close to the curb or not too close to the line in the center of the road as well don't want to be near any of those vehicles Ahead, there's a, a width restriction. Hopefully, that's some not affecting the video too much. Just using the sun visor in front of me to kind of shield that sun a little bit, but as I say, I hope it's not affecting the video too much. Coming towards the width restriction now, just got to line yourself up. Take your time lining yourself up, don't rush. If you make contact with the pavement, it could be quite bad. So I'm dropping the speed down to about 10 miles an hour to line myself up, creeping through nicely. Sign on the left says a 15% drop. So the car's gonna go running away from us like it was earlier on. So as we come around, there is a sign on the left that says low gear. Because we're in an automatic could knock it into the semi-automatic and pull it down after 200 here. yards you have reached your destination so 200 yards we've reached our destination we've got two solid white lines on the right of us so we're definitely not going to cross those the solid line on the left is just to tell us where the edge of the you have is. reached your destination start trying to stay within it now just down the bottom of this road on the left hand side somewhere in the trees there is a sign that says the road follows to the right there you go you can just about see it today it says maximum speed 10 miles per hour the key part here is don't cross the white line on the right of you so I am gonna slow right the way down to 10 miles an hour much to the annoyance probably of the people behind me but it's to make sure that I go right round that edge so 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 important because it's such a tight bend you don't want to be near the cars in the lane next to you they come around the corner and the instruction would be turn left first exit at the roundabout mirror check left signal and I can see a 40 mile per hour circle so it's 40 miles an hour from this point on a lot of activity to the right of us so we're just gonna sit and wait and look for that gap there's a car coming around that's indicating to come off at our junction so we'll take that as an opportunity lamppost there the first second and the fourth just reminders 
that is 40 miles per hour from this point. I'm only doing 31 at the moment just because the vehicles in front aren't doing 40. Just want to maintain a, a nice healthy gap for 38 miles an hour now. This is known as the Mad Mile. It's actually just over a mile long. If you recognise you on this bit, then you'll know that you're on the last stretch the way back to the end of the test. I haven't done any reversing on this route. That's something that you need to make sure that you've practiced either with your own instructor or with me checking my mirrors occasionally on the outside here just to check my position centre check because of the motorbike there that came round just off the accelerator at that point that I saw that motorbike I didn't brake I don't want to be braking I can see the vehicles in front already braking so I'm off the accelerator from here centre check Starting to apply, apply a bit of pressure on the brakes now. Down to 26 miles an hour. Again, trying to maintain a, a healthy gap between me and the vehicle in front. Don't want to be bunched up. The closer you drive to the vehicle in front, the more danger. The less you can actually see. At the moment, I can see all of the right hand lane from this view. I know you probably can't see it on the video. I can see all of the right hand lane on this. And checking my mirrors just to make sure I'm in a good position within my lane. I'd say I'll probably check my mirrors every, I don't know, 40 to 50 seconds maybe. You can see the coach slowing down, so checking my centre mirror again. Making sure not to break too hard too late and again maintaining that gap between me and the vehicle in front seeing all of their tyres to the floor and a little bit of the road now if you know the route probably about one or two streets away depending on how they want to end the end of the test left check centre check and right check this is known as a change of speed moving from zero to moving off just to make sure you know what's going on around you. We're just creeping along at the moment, just crawling along, just over on tick over really, um, just pushing the gas pedal a really tiny bit, doing seven miles an hour here. Centre check, just because we're slowing down. Left check, centre check, right check. I know I didn't come to a complete stop, but. Nothing wrong with knowing exactly what's going on around us before we move off. A couple of signs here. I'm going to go left at the next roundabout, first exit. Two red circles here on the left and the right. We approach the end of this road, 30 miles an hour from this point, and a great big painted one on the floor. Centre check and left check before the signal. Looking to the right nothing on the right looking across nothing opposite me either so no need to stop as we enter this road looking for any red circles don't see any moving off now there is the odd occasion on some of the routes here just past the bus stop there's a tree the examiner will ask you to pull up on the left look at the junction on the right here if you don't do your right check over your shoulder before you move off you could end up with a, a serious fault at that point because you'd be just past the junction it, it would be in your blind spot so you wouldn't see it in the mirror and if you didn't look over your shoulder you'd have no idea that somebody was coming out of that junction at the same time you was planning to move off okay another sign up ahead it says that the road bends left bends right the gas pedal at the moment Cars just slowing down with 28, 27, 26, just maintaining a little bit of gas now, not touching the brakes at all. And I'm going to take the next road coming up on our right, centre check, right check, right signals on. I'm going to move into this hatch bit now, trying to get as close to the bit on the right in case I have to stop. Slowing down for the turn now, just 
finding that middle of the road. Nice decent turn in. Take your time as you come into this last bit here because you don't want to be in somebody's way as you're coming in this last bit here, just like this. Centre check, right check. Take the next road here. And the examiner might pull you up anywhere around here. I'm just going to end the video. I'm just going to pull in on the left here. And that will do us. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope if you are on a test at West Wickham that you find this video useful. Um, if you are, wish you good luck. 